Hey guys, it is Wednesday. We made it to the middle of the week. Yes. Um, so my green beans are done. I, they were almost done around 11 o'clock last night and I thought I was going to go lay down in bed, watch a couple, you know, a YouTube video or two. And I thought, Oh, I'll go down and check them again before I go to bed. Totally forgot about it. <laughs> Let them run all night. So they are extra crispy. <laughs> so they ran from new, sorry, my head's cut off. They ran from noon yesterday till this morning at about seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> so they're very crispy, but the boys love them. And I, when the boys were outside this morning, I tried to break a piece off to uh, see if Kent would eat it and he wouldn't. Um, he won't even eat a regular non-dehydrated green bean. So yeah, so somebody asked if Kent likes green beans. He doesn't. So, okay, let's see. Let's give the boys one. I gave a little piece this morning, not a whole one. Miggy? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> Mazzy? Yeah, they're very crunchy. What are you trying to sneak and get another one for? No, no. <laughs> I shouldn't sit those there. Let me go put them in the kitchen. You okay? To go down the wrong chute? Okay, hold on, guys. Yes, they really like them crunchy, too. So, at least that's one more thing out of the freezer. And I can take them over in the um, uh, dog treat containers because I'm not going to pack those. I'll probably one day, um, my extra treats, I'll probably just um, take those containers over and sit them on the counter. Uh, one last thing to box up and I can have them right out and have some treats out uh, for when they get there and not have to search for them. So, um, yeah, so they really like them. So they probably would have only taken 12 hours to do, 12 or less. Um, but like I said, I totally forgot and fell asleep because I've been so tired. Um, so what do I have going on today? Today I'm going to pack up some things in the kitchen that I know I won't be using because now we've decided we're probably moving Tuesday or Wednesday of next week um, because we just went this morning and um, picked out carpet and the guy is going to come Friday because he can't get back to the bedrooms to measure because he can't walk on the wood floors until Friday. So he's going to come early morning Friday to measure those before he heads north for the weekend. Like I said, a lot of people here in Michigan, once summer hits, everybody heads north <laughs> for the weekend. So you don't get much done on the weekend usually. Um, so he's going to measure early morning Friday, get the measurements to whoever cuts it or whatever, and he should be able to install it Monday. So, um, it's nice that my husband's a real estate agent because he has connections with all these people who do carpet and wood floors and all this stuff. So he said, yes, he'll get it in there for us Monday. And so we figure we'll be moving Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm excited. Um, so today I'm going to pack up a lot of my kitchen stuff that I don't foresee myself using, I hope. <laughs> um, and then I'm probably going to take some of that stuff to the house today after the um guy who's doing the wood floor leaves so I'm not in his way um I think he's just got to put a coat of sealant on today he said he puts a coat on today that'll be kind of tacky and sticky and then tomorrow he comes in um lightly sands that and then he puts another coat on it and that'll make it nice and smooth and he'll be done so um yeah, so I feel, and then I think they're also supposed to come finish the tree today. As long as it's not downpouring rain, it's been misting all day today. It's a very gray day. Um, so they work for um, the two people who are doing it. One guy is my was one of my husband's clients. He sold the house to him, and him and his friend work for Detroit Edison. They um, do removing of tree limbs and all that for the power company down there. So they kind of do this on the side to make extra money. So they'll be coming after work about probably four o'clock. So hopefully they can, if it's not downpouring rain and they said, if it's just misting, they'll do it. What's going on over here? <laughs> they'll still come and do it. Oh, Miggy's teasing. He's got a little, um, one of 
little uh, bully slices and he's teasing Milo. I don't know if you can see him. I can't tell. What are you getting? Now you guys are going to snip him? <laughs> Milo rolled over and then he started snipping him. Poor Milo. Come here, baby. Are they teasing you with that bone? Are they teasing you with that bone? Oh, poor baby. You poor baby. You want that bone, don't you? And Mickey's teasing you. Oh. <laughs> He's like, let me up, Bob. Let me up. Um. So, yeah. So, they should be over, too. Uh, taking down, hopefully, the rest of the tree. He said um, to my husband yesterday, he said, that is a big tree. He said, I think I um, under... Uh, bid you. Uh, I don't know if he just pulled in the driveway, looked at it, thought he could tell um, how big it was from there and gave my husband an estimate. But he said, that is one big tree. <laughs> he said, you're getting this done for a deal. So that's good. Um, we need something done for a deal. Uh, but anyways, hopefully that'll be done today. And um, when we were done, um, <coughs> excuse me, picking out carpet, we drove by and uh, the mowers were there. But of course, since they came today, uh, since yesterday they started on the tree, there's a bunch of branches. Uh, they drug a bunch of branches over to the side yard, and um, they couldn't mow. They can't mow the whole thing. So, so they're still gonna have to come back after that tree gets taken down and they get all that cleaned up and mow again. So, at least the front is now completely mowed. The side yard, because my husband and my son only got that front yard done with the push mower. Um, because it was very tall and it took them a long time to mow that. Um, so at least the side yard is done now and we won't have any problems with the city fighting us or anything because our lawn is too long. Because I think they fight you after, I think if it's over 8 inches, um, I can't remember. But at least that's knocked down and we can worry about the rest of it once the tree's out of there. Have them come again. So um, yes, we need to get a riding lawnmower. Um, that big old yard because that push mower and that push mower is not a um like you know how when you hold the thing down it propels itself forward it's not one of those either you gotta push it so yeah my husband and my son gotta work out that day uh mowing that front yard because that's a big front yard um there was another question somebody asked oh why um why don't i i talked about maybe putting a small garden in the back uh once it maybe next year or something since that tree will be taken down they said why not do it on the side yard that we're not having offensive for the boys well on that side yard there's a lot of trees and i don't know how much sun uh that side yard will get so i was thinking in the backyard it would be perfect because that's cleared out will be cleared out right there and um plus i like being outside with my boys so if i um have it in the side yard i'm not with them so i think i'll put it back there and then just put some um Fencing like what we have in the backyard so they can't get up close to the fence with that little dog uh, behind us. I'll put some of that around it so they can't get in the garden area. So, you need some scratches? You need some scratches? Yeah, and I think this weekend I'm going to give everybody a bath. Uh, trim them up a little. I'm not going to totally groom them. They don't need to be groomed for another couple weeks. So, But I want to get them all uh, cleaned up, trim up their paws. Um, clean up around their eyes. Are you biting my fingers? Why are you biting my fingers for? <laughs> um, clean up their butt hairs and just get them cleaned up a little bit so they're nice and cleaned up so when we move, I don't have to think about that. Uh, why are you biting my shirt? Maybe he squeaked something so he's got to go see what it is. So yeah, so I'm going to get busy packing some stuff up and um, I'll take you over to the house later and see if there's anything new going on over there today. So we'll be back in a bit.
downstairs guys because I've got this uh, glass stuff that I need to pack up and I went downstairs to get tissue paper because after Christmas during the um, after Christmas Christmas sales like when all the Christmas decor and everything's on sale I bought a ton of white um, tissue paper uh, like you wrap gifts in or fill gift bags up with because I knew I I like using that uh, instead of newspaper because newspaper gets your hands all black. So I bought a ton of it, packed it in my Christmas totes. Well, I took all my Christmas totes to the new house and forgot to get the tissue paper out. So since I'm only, I'm moving this, just this little bit of glass stuff today to the new house, I'm just going to wrap it up in um, dog towels because when I get over there today, I'm going to unpack all these boxes. There's only three uh, of kitchen stuff. I'm going to unpack them while I'm there and put them in cupboards that I may switch it around later, but get it unpacked so I can bring these boxes back to use for other stuff. These are all boxes either from Chewy.com or boxes from our last move here. So I'm just going to wrap it up in some dog towels. There we go. It's all nice, packed, secure with the towels, and I ran out of tape, so I'm gonna have to go to the store today uh, when I go to the house and get some more tape. Okay, I'm gonna finish moving these over by the front door, and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna um, end the video here just showing an update on the house. Um, he got a coat of sealant on the floor. So that's looking good. And the guys are out in the, um, there's a dumpster back there for all the tree pieces, but here's how the tree's looking so far. They still got quite a bit of tree to take down. They uh, got a dumpster to haul away all the uh, tree trimmings and the trunk and all that. They are in it right now in the dumpster cutting up pieces well actually they're not they're outside of the dumpster i should say um cutting up pieces and there's the dumpster right there cutting up pieces and putting them in the getting them smaller to put in the dumpster so i got all of my stuff i packed up uh there's some other boxes uh of kitchen stuff i already had here but i am not gonna stay here and unpack it because the smell from the sealant on the floors it is overwhelming let me tell you it is overwhelming <laughs> so I will not be staying in here so I guess I won't be back tomorrow because nothing's really gonna be going on tomorrow except for him finishing up the whoa finishing up the wood floors and um, they may come back to grind up the stump to the tree because I think they're just gonna get the tree down today and then grind the stump tomorrow um, so there's really nothing gonna be going on tomorrow so Tomorrow for me is going to be a day of rest because I've been exhausted and I need to just do nothing tomorrow. So, <laughs> yeah, so I will not be, I probably won't be filming a video tomorrow. Um, I'll bring you along Friday when I come over to clean the house. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.